Hey, Mike Falonk here, portrait photographer in Los Angeles, and today we're shooting fashion editorial style with Tamara. Hi. <laughs> Let's get some snaps. So the goal for today's shoot is to get out and shoot some fashion editorial style work for our portfolios and hopefully uh, inspire you to get out and try the same. Maybe you'd like to shoot for some of your favorite fashion brands someday, but like me, you've got no contacts inside the industry. That's okay. Putting together a portfolio of the type of work you'd like to attract is a great place to start and a great way to get noticed. And today I'm gonna to show you how by putting together a small team of creatives, you can get out and make the kind of portfolio work you need for little to no money. To start, I asked Tamara if she'd step in and be my model today. Since we're not working for any clients specifically, I asked her if she had anything new and exciting in her wardrobe worth photographing. We landed on this Valentina dress from imgia.com, which I thought looked very chic and quite smart on Tamara. Next, I asked my friend Aubrey if she'd like to style Tamara's hair for this shoot. After taking one look at her long, beautiful hair, she was in. With a model, stylist, and dress confirmed, I got to work putting together a style guide on Pinterest, which we used as the reference point when deciding how to style her hair. We toyed with styling her in a scarf before ultimately landing on luscious curls and a thick brimmed hat. I picked up this black sun hat on the cheap from Amazon, and we paired it with these black boots which Tamara had lying around her closet. Although the promotional images from IMG up paired the dress with white boots, which looked clean, I chose instead to break up all that white with some black shoes and this black hat for a classic, timeless look. With Tamara dressed to the nines, all that was left was to find a location that matched her elegance and style. Now I love shooting in downtown LA. Its unique mixture of historic Art Deco buildings and the newer glass skyscrapers makes it the perfect backdrop to shoot some fashion. The trick to shooting in downtown LA without permits is to know the places to avoid and the things you're better off leaving in the car. First, I recommend you try to avoid shooting on private property. Many of the buildings and their surrounding plazas are privately owned and security guards anxiously await your arrival, ready to chase you away if you don't have the proper permit which is why I chose Grand Park as today's location. Grand Park is a public park spanning the three blocks between City Hall and the Music Center. So this is actually a pretty quiet day for Grand Park. You never know how many people are gonna be here. I did check their Instagram ahead of time to see if there were any events or concerts going on, so I knew there'd be no concerts. Because it's a public park, you don't need any special permits to take pictures here. As long as you observe city park rules, you're likely to be left alone by the security guards. Some things to avoid if you don't want to be messed with. Leave your tripods and light stands in the car. Otherwise, you run the risk of being chased off the premises for being a professional shoot without a permit. It's for this reason that I opted to shoot natural light today. And I went with the RF 35 instead of something like a 50 mil or an 85 millimeter because I wanted to include more of the background in the images. Also, with a 35 millimeter, I can give Tamara direction without having to shout at her from across the park. We began our shoot in the steps in front of City Hall, but quickly moved on to get out of the hard light and avoid that ugly temporary fencing. Okay, so we were fighting a really high contrast situation with the sun and the shade. So we just came over to the shady side of the courthouse. Now the courthouse itself is blocking the sun. We've got a flat even scene. I see a little bit of garbage, which I don't like to see in my scene, so I'm gonna move that, but then we're gonna get started. This is much flatter lighting, which is easier to work with. I think my head always knew it, but I didn't tell my heart. Let go, I couldn't do it. Awesome. The, uh, the hat is making the face autofocus really hunt. But it's doing a pretty good job. It's finding the face 90% of the time. Sometimes I need to recorrect it. But we're finding that face. Let's 
just keep searching. Look for some better scenery. Okay, so we moved up to the middle of Grand Park to feature more of the city hall in the background. I've handed Tamara a stylish vintage 1960s camera to go along with her look. We're gonna make believe that you're a tourist from some far off land and you just always dress as fabulous when you're on vacation. Let's get to work. Hold that. Perfect. camera up kind of hiding your your center there you go that's it beautiful so give me something give me something the sunset's going to start accelerating at this time of day so we got to keep moving now because this was a sunday we didn't run into the normal weekly business crowd Let's go up to the street. We're gonna move up to Upper Grand, get some nice street shots. On our way to Upper Grand, I noticed the sun creating this natural spotlight, which I couldn't resist taking full advantage of. All right, let's go up to Grand. Now let's actually come to the edge of the street like you're hailing a cab. I want you, yeah, right there is good. Awesome, come this way. I want you in the light here. Stop right there. Hail the cab. All right, go ahead and turn into the light. Just look into the sun. You're hailing the cab. You're looking over your left shoulder because you're waiting for that car to come. Just like that. Yep, you're slaying it. Amazing. Good. Perfect. So we were hoping to shoot in the quad area in front of the music hall, but it looks like this Rise LA thing has their main stage there. So we're gonna try and walk around it and see if we can shoot behind the music hall. We're so tired of walking. Thank God for this escalator. Tamara offered to carry me a bit ago, but I thought it'd be unchivalrous of me to let her carry me, so. Okay, so we braved the escalator up to the music hall, and I was glad to see that the mark taper is not covered by ugly fences. So we're gonna get to work and shoot some portraits right here in front of this beautiful water feature. Let's go. Yeah. Very nice. And this lens does open up pretty wide, so we're gonna go to F28. Maybe have you more like leaning on this and interacting with the camera, maybe checking, kind of hold it and lean on this. Let's see how you look. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Yeah, I like that you're not even paying attention to me. That's good. I'm sh shooting you from the back. Let's keep your backside on me, but have this leg like out and up, and then maybe have one hand up on the hat. Yeah, give me like a full like sassy stance. That's it. Sassy stance. Oh, 
someone to hang next to you? Yeah, just like that. Right there, exactly. Beautiful. So this is the Broad Museum. It's one of the newer modern art museums in downtown LA. And since it's white and she's wearing white, I thought we'd throw her in front of it. So this is Upper Grand. This is one of my favorite spots to do portraits because you have this long view of the street and the skyscrapers in the background. But we freeze when it's all up to us. So let's fight. are accelerating we had a near-death experience we think that's probably a good sign that we've used this spot to the fullest should we move on yeah let's move on down there in front of them. So walk, walk, walk. Yep, right there, right there. Perfect. Good. And we can't just stay and watch it, no. Oh, we dream about all things being all right, but we free. And that concludes our shoot. We got some good shots in, had to work around a few obstacles. Not everything was open that I wanted was open, but that's okay, you know, you pivot. Get out there and put together your own portfolio. Get some creatives, find a model, make a lookbook. You guys can make this happen. There's nothing stopping you. I had a blast today with me, Tamara. I had a blast working with you. Thank you so much for coming out. Like and subscribe for more portrait content. We'll see you in the next video. Say bye. 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 We must fight it now.